Hey, what's going on, crypto people? It is the Crypto Siege with another day in the life, in the crazy life that is the digital asset space. Good morning. Happy Thursday. Yeah, I think it's Thursday. <laughs> Happy Thursday to you. Whoa, listen, guys, gonna hop on here real quick, get this done. I'm looking forward to this, uh, this webinar that's gonna happen here at uh, about 11.15. It's gonna have Secretary Jay Clayton. It's gonna have that pit bull. Um, Brian Brooks, Mr. Brian Brooks from the OCC, real excited, uh, looking forward to checking that out. We'll bring some insights from that to you guys as well. So listen, guys, this is your XRP Ripple Daily News in around zero to 10 minutes. I do want, again, want to, again, point out the significance of what Ripple is doing now, with the XRP Ledger Foundation and Energy Web, I, I'm, I'm excited about it. This is on Medium, and this is from Energy Web, putting this out. Guys, you know, look, do your homework, do your due diligence, check out Energy Web, check out the Energy Web token, see if it makes sense for you, right? See if it makes sense for you, right? Um, I heard about this a ways back, a ways, 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 ways back. It's $8 per token now. Um, something to, uh, to look at, to see if it resonates with you, see if it makes sense. Uh, see if it makes sense to hold a little bit of these tokens or not. But overall, this just strategic move by Ripple, I think, again, is, in, is very, very genius. It is without question a blue ocean strategy. Uh, and I absolutely love it. By the way, you know, when you read this, this is something that Ripple and the Ledger Foundation is working in the de developers are building together. Right. It's not it, they're building this together. It's not something that was built um and um ripple said oh okay cool let's hook up the building this the, the devs from spring i found out springs involved in this as well are building this particular thing together decarbonizing blockchains is a massive thing i think it's a genius move um i just saw mr yoshitaka katao retweet this or at least he had someone retweet it from his twitter account right about ripple and what they're doing with this so this is this is genius in motion uh, i think that you know what is going on with this XRP Ledger Foundation is gifting the XRP Ledger to the world, just like they gifted the ILP. I really, really do believe that Ripple created, built that ILP, gifted it to the W3C. Ripple created and built, right, Schwartz, stuff, Thomas, you know, the likes, the XRPL Ledger, uh, Evan Schwartz, right, the uh, XRP Ledger created it. Now they got a foundation that's taking it over essentially and running it essentially. Again, these kind of gifts to the world, if you will, if you will, gifts to the world. So let's go over this. So XRP Ledger Foundation, Ripple and Energy Web announced the world's first decarbonized blockchain. Rocky Mountain Institute backed Energy Web launches EW0, which provides technology solution applicable to all blockchains to all the blockchains. And Ripple, again, they're part of the creation of such a thing and they're leading the way. They're standing out in front of everyone and saying, we, we're gonna lead the way towards a better, a better, right, climate, a better earth, right, leading the way. Uh, right? It, for me, it seems very, so very, very clear and obvious that when it's time to usher, when it's time to, to kind of mention these private public partnerships, whether it be with Uphold, or PayPal, or Ripple, that it's going to be so easy to mention the name and then sing the praises of what they're doing. You see what I'm saying? Not some dudes that want to dethrone the dollar. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So here it is. San Francisco, California, and Zug, Switzerland. Um, today, XRP Ledger Foundation, Ripple, and Energy Web announced the decarbonization of the XRP Ledger. They smashed the first ever widespread decarbonization of a public blockchain addressing a significant environmental challenge for blockchain technologies around the world. What do you think the people from the G7 think about this? 
What do you think the people from the G20 think about this? What do you think the World Economic Forum thinks about this? What do you think? They're, they're making an, an ingenious thing, the XRP ledger, even more genius. They're making it cuter. They're making it softer. They're making it uh, 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 a ple pleasant to smell and touch and see and look at if you know what I'm saying. It's making it easier for the G7s of the, and the G20 to embrace it. That's what's going on here, in my humble opinion. In my humble opinion, that's what's going on here. Got a foundation, the G7s and the G20s look at the world. Oh, wait a minute, who owns that? Does, does the US of A own that thing? Does the US of A own it? Wait, wait a minute, Russia's right, hold on, US of A own it? Who controls that thing? China's like, ah, who owns this thing? Who, who controls it? You get it? No one. Not even any longer does the good old US of A company out of San Francisco, California. They just gifted it to the foundation. See what I'm saying? So that other nations around the world can look at this thing and embrace it. It's my humble opinion. It just really makes sense to me. So the pine, where am I at? Where This marks the first ever widespread decarbonization of a public blockchain, addressing a significant environmental challenge for blockchain technology around the world. We're all into this environmental thing. I mean, when you, when you see the G7s and the G20s and the WEFs of the world and the ECB and the IMF talking about all this environmental climate stuff, this is where we're going. And if your blockchain is not contributing to the cause, yeah, we're not going to embrace that. We're not going to embrace this proof of work thing. Uh, yeah, no. Not with all that climate destruction thing you got going on over there with the proof of works. We're not going to embrace The G7s of the world are not going to embrace that. The G20s of the world and the World Economic Forum and the IMF and ECB, they can't afford to. They're not going to embrace it. <laughs> the pioneering innovation has been achieved using technology from Energy Web, the nonprofit energy tech company. Nonprofit energy tech company, co founded by Rocky Mount Institute. This initial deployment uses energy attribute certificates, EACs, from renewable energy assets to decarbonize the blockchain's electricity's use. EnergyWeb's open source application called EW0 enables individuals, businesses, or in this case, an entire blockchain ecosystem to transition to verified zero carbon electricity. The XRP ledger was already smashing the likes of Ethereum and, and uh, Bitcoin. It was already the champ. Already. Now is even better. You see that? So when, when the nations around the world look into a thing and agree upon this, inter, uh, this ledger, <laughs> throwing along in the ILP, it's easily embraceable if you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> right? And, and they're, they're, they're going at this thing big time. Blockchain technology if I should have historically faced considerable challenges decarbonizing their energy use due to the naturally distributed nature of blockchain communities and computational processing power. The challenge is going to be for the Bitcoin folks. What are they going to do? Because you know, right now, the way things are, it is very profitable for those miners and the people in that foundation. Very profitable, quote unquote, foundation. What are they going to do? Are they going to opt out? <laughs> are they going to opt out? That's, that's another $64 trillion question right there. So 
uh, technology giants such as Amazon and Google, whose processing largely takes place in directly owned and controlled data centers, are able to contract clean energy with relative ease and precision. Blockchains face a dilemma since both energy use and decision making is largely decentralized. No single individual organization is in a position to make energy purchases and decisions for an entire blockchain. Well, there you go. The top five energy consuming blockchains currently use up to 170 terawatt hours of electricity per year, more than the state of New York. With government and government with corporate and government interest in real world blockchain solutions on the rise, legitimate concerns regarding the associated carbon emissions have been growing. This announcement demonstrates a path towards zero carbon operation for all blockchains. With the XRP ledger as a starting point, EnergyWeb, XRP Ledger Foundation, and Ripple are calling on other blockchain communities to join the move to being powered by zero carbon electricity. EnergyWeb has already followed suit decarbonizing one year's worth of electricity cities used for the energy web chain with renewable energy ESCs. While the XRP ledger is already one of the greenest blockchains in the world, we are taking one step further to be the first blockchain that is fully decarbonized, fully decarbonized, thanks to our partnership with Energy Web Foundation. This is how huge in a lot of ways, guys, I'm just telling you it's it's this is in a medium this is energy it's another article from energy web this is energy web and here's the, and i'm just looking at the energy web token absolutely a genius move uh and sure i was looking at it without question <laughs> what we do let's do this here energy web is a global nonprofit organization accelerating a low carbon customer centric electricity system by unleashing the potential of blockchain and other decentralized technology. Energy Web focuses on building core infrastructure and shared technology, speeding adoption of commercial solutions, and fostering a community of practice, nonprofit as well. I absolutely like it. 2019, EW launched the Energy Web chain, the world's first open source enterprise blockchain platform tailored to the energy sector. So some news there about Energy Web. I just think this what they're doing what Ripple is doing, it's not just about the IPO. <laughs> you know, the, Ripple has a, an interest in, in, in the well-being of the XRP ledger. But to, 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 to move to kind of gift it, if you will, this, create this foundation, um, if you will, it's just so very smart. It allows Ripple to continue to grow as a global, as a uh, blockchain infrastructure company. It gives the opportunity for the G7s, the G20s, and the WEFs, and the ICMFs, and the ECBs of the world to adopt something that is for the greater good. This decentralized thing over here, I'm telling you, it's huge, 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 huge. Proof of work, I'm not sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Crypto Eddie tweeted something now. Springs, uh, SVP, Senior Vice President Ethan Beard, a new pat podcast talking XRP, MoneyGram, going good, by the way, along with my breakdown, why that events 27, okay, slide is not relevant and should not be used, or did, okay. Uh, I guess she's talking about that Everest thing, huh? Uh, size of checks for XRP and, ec and ecosystems. This is not what I had tabbed up there. I don't know why that came out. This is what I had from Brad Garlingham. It's clear crypto belongs in future global financial systems, but that future depends on us taking action now to ensure this tech can be used sustainably. Today, Ripple is committing to be carbon neutral by 2030 and building tools so any blockchain can use renewable energy. <laughs> they just, you know, OMG, just, just every single thing that they do.
You know, very, very cool. Absolutely love what they're doing. Genius in motion, guys. I got to tell you, excited about it. Shout out to Brad Darling House. Listen, <laughs> uh, listen, think about the possibilities of a blockchain, decarbonized blockchain. It, it was, our, again, it was already the champ. It was already the champ. Again, for me, it makes it feel like the ledger is... It's cuter now. It's, you can cuddle this ledger now, right? Again, major nations like the G7 and the G20, they can hang with this, this ledger and, and no one owns it and controls it. And uh, yeah, you know, we like to, we'd like a seat at the table of this governance thing. You see what I'm saying? Someone maybe from the ECB, someone from the IMF, some, someone from the WEF, someone from one of these G7 or G20. Y you see what I'm saying? As part of the governance of this ledger with tens of millions of transactions without a single error, transparency, immutability, and just all that great stuff. And then you got the foundation constantly working on it to improve it. It's a win-win. It's a win-win. It's a win-win. When you, you, you know, I, I'm looking forward to the nation set talking about they're joining this foundation. I'm just, I'm, I'm looking for it. It's coming. Can you see it? Because the definition of vision is seeing it before the masses see it. All right, guys, listen, I've got to wrap up this video. I've got to hop on this webinar with Brooks and Clayton. Listen, guys, I'm going to end this video like I do all of my videos and remind you guys of this. Old money doesn't want you to win. They don't want us to win. They would rather us remain a cog in their perpetual wheel of trading our time for dollars. They don't want us to play in the same playing ground that they play in while we allow our money to work for us. This is our chance to win, guys. <laughs> I didn't cover this. The digital asset space is our chance to win. We are in the midst of the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of man. Are you participating or are you standing on the sideline? Here's what I do know, that the battle for you has already been fought and the victory is yours. Go get it. I'll talk to you soon, guys. See ya. Bye. <laughs>